how's it going? Well, sometimes I disappoint myself when I feel that I have to eventually block someone in the comments. Reach out, reach out, and block someone. I mean, I've talked before about how I block flat earthers. I mean, if you mention it in passing, I'm not going to block you. If you talk about it in a, in a hypothetical sense, yeah, that's fine too. If you want to talk about how you can view different objects using mathematics to view them differently, like, you know, any sphere can be viewed as an infinite flat plane, okay, fine. But if you're actually arguing that the Earth is flat and that satellites are just balloons and that all the pictures of the Earth from 40 years ago are just uh, CGI. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Get that shit out of my face. Then there's the people who push that Sandy Hook and most of the mass shootings in the United States that have taken place in the last 20 years are just psyops. Oh, crisis actors. Oh, it's all about uh, trying to take away your guns. Yeah, bye-bye. Get that shit out of my face. You're being ridiculous. Now, then there's anarcho-capitalists. Now, I'm not as quick to jump the gun on them because sometimes they have some reasonable arguments. But when they continue to hound the notion that we should gut all regulations and privatize everything, and they want to forget about what greed does in the equation, they want to forget about the history of the United States and how... Yeah, we, we kind of started off with more libertarian, anarcho-capitalist kind of, kind of ways of being, and we eventually learned that we had to have these regulations to stop terrible things from happening, like, like child labor, you know, slave labor. Uh, you know, we had to uh, try to stop accidents from happening in work, so we needed uh, safety regulations, things like that, you know, environmental regulations, you know, no, no, let's just gut it all. No, no, you're, you're, that's ridiculous. You know, so I mean, again, I mean, I'll, I'll have some reasonable conversations with some of those people, but if they just keep hounding this, this gut everything and, and privatize everything while, I mean, some of these people are the same ones who are essentially arguing to, you, you say you want to gut regulations, but you want to regulate big tech platforms, so they can't censor how they want. Now, I, I think we should regulate the big tech platforms, but you know that goes against anarcho-capitalist ideals. It goes against uh, libertarian ideals. I thought you said the free market will take care of everything. Anyway, but uh, recently I had to block someone after a period of time when they continued to push the this new way of looking at the political spectrum. It's people like Rock and Mr. E uh, say the same sort of thing. You know, they push this notion that anything on the right is uh, libertarianism, anarchy, uh, uh, anarcho-capitalism, you know, is the absence of government. And anything on the left is authoritarian. So they believe that it's impossible to be a right-wing authoritarian. And I'm just like, what, what are you on? You know, they want to deny the, the political compass. You know, the political compass takes those types of things into consideration. That's the vertical axis of the political compass. The political compass, the further down you go, the more you go towards anarchy. The further up you go, the more you go towards authoritarianism. And then there's the different ways that the left and the right uh, become more authoritarian. You know? But they want to deny all of that. They want to deny all of the things that, all of the differences between the ways that the left and the right can be authoritarian. They, they, these people argue that fascism and communism are the same thing. That uh, a theocracy is left-wing because, oh, it's authoritarian. It's just like, what, what's wrong with you? Now, I mean, if they just talked about this in the sense that, uh, hey, this is an alternate way of looking at the political spectrum, that'd be fine. But these people deny the existence of any other way of looking at politics. It's their way or nothing. And I have a problem with that. 
I mean, there are people who who want to redefine things that and and they, like people who say that black people can't be racist. Well, they're using a different definition of the word racism. But those people they do know that there are other definitions of racism and they acknowledge those things. I've never run across someone who doesn't acknowledge other definitions of racism. You know, they may prefer the one that they use and and they may say that it, it's to them that's the best one to use. Okay, that's fine. But but these people who who want to argue an alternate version of the political spectrum, they refuse, outright refuse to even acknowledge of the historical and colloquial and dictionary ways of looking at the political spectrum. And it's frustrating. So yeah, I eventually had to block the guy.